Good afternoon, I'm Sergeant Goodrich. Today we're gonna to be doing a presentation on lifelong learning. Our risk assessment for today is we're located here in the conference room. The risk is gonna be low. We do watch out for tripping hazards. Keep your social distancing. If you do have a mask and you wanna wear it, you're more than welcome to. Today's class will be unclassified. So what is lifelong learning? Uh, we have here Professor Stu Rudvik, a Danish professor, bishop, writer, philosopher, theologist, pretty much a jack of all trades is what he is. Uh, but he was the first person that came up with the idea for continued education. He found people in his area, in his town that were trying to progress themselves, but they weren't, they were just trying to do it, not learn. So he took him in, helped him learn, and furthered their career and lifestyle. Uh, in 2007, the European Union adapted lifelong learning into their school systems. So what is lifelong learning? Lifelong learning is the ongoing pursuit of knowledge for the professional and personal benefit on a complete self-motivated and volunteer basis. Uh, learning is about reaching your full potential and it can help you achieve self-actualization. Uh, So lifelong, learn lifelong learners. Lifelong learners should be important, but be not be limited to a classroom or childhood, but should be employed throughout life and in a range of situations. So for example, you know, your hobbies, your professions, your building character. With hobbies, you know, carpentry. If you're really into working with wood, you'd want to go find out what your tools are, learn more about them. If you want to go to a school, have them teach you the proper ways, your measurements and everything of that nature. Uh, find patterns that you that really interest you. And so, you know, just start that project and go from there. Uh, if you're interested in sports and you want to coach a, a little league team, go take a child development course so you can actually interact with the children and actually make a difference in their lives. Uh, learn the sport that you're trying to coach. If you're something you may not know about it, every day you learn something new. Uh, with your profession, job related skills. You know, every day, you know, we deal with something new. New aircraft, new medicines, new, you know, new leaders. We gotta find out and learn about them. So, you know, maybe in the civilian world, you wanna be an actor. So you wanna go find a play, start reading it. Well, there's a social group in the town that's actually working on that play. Go talk to them, see if you can become a part of it, try out for it. You know, that's the steps you need to take to get ahead. Build character. You know, join the group. Join that group. That's the beginning of it. You know, it builds up your confidence, helps you get motivated, and it'll get you started for your next project. So here we have 10 simple ways to engage in lifelong learning. One, read widely and often. Every day there's something new to read, manuals, uh, new classes that are being given. You can read up on them, get an idea, hey, this may be something I could use in my future. Let me take it. You can go in and, you know, even if it's a book, it's a new book, it's something you're really interested in. Too. Here's a new crafting book. Start crafting on something new. Number two, keep smart company. Find people that are interested in the same things that you are. Those people will want to learn just as much as you want to learn and continue the knowledge of that topic. Number three, teach others. If you're part of that group and you get a new member in, hey man, I'll come, come over, I'll teach you what I know, maybe it'll help you out. Maybe you have something I don't know, you can teach me. Four, keep a list of things that you want to explore. Pretty much it's gonna be like you're a bucket list kind of. You want to go in, Write down things you want to do. Hey, I want to skydive. Well, let me do some research on it and find out what it is. What happens? How do you pack a shoe? So on and so forth. You can go on and, and you know, do research on all these things that you're wanting to explore. Then you can prepare yourself and then go into it. Five, start your own project. 
Sometimes you can't find anybody to group up with. Sometimes you just gotta go online and look up the research yourself and just do it. Uh, like I said we earlier, crafting uh, or ca carpentry. Go in, grab a piece of wood, go find your tools you need, start working with it. Who knows, you could be just playing around and uh, making a, a nice wooden duck. For six, use personal learning environment. Schools, I the internet, YouTube is actually a good resource. Go find these things, watch them. You may have to watch them multiple times. You may have to talk to somebody multiple times about it. But eventually you're gonna pick up on it and learn. And then from there you can teach others. Seven, experiment with new ways of learning. Again, YouTube, stuff like that. Who knows, you could be talking to somebody from around the world that knows about carving a wooden flute. And they teach you over, uh, over the internet. Eight, join a study, study group. With that group, you know, or earlier, like you wanted the acts, you can get together and re re read the play together and have everybody's part. So from there, once you get to that point where you do get on stage, you don't forget your lines. You don't sit around and make yourself look like a fool. Uh, nine, find a job that encourages learning and collaboration. The Army. <laughs> This is the best example for the army right here. You can come in, for example, I'm a Black Hawk mechanic. Well, there's also out, uh, you can become a pilot from here. You can go and become a crew chief, flying the back of the helicopter. And you want, you're gonna learn more about the aircraft by flying in it, by working on it, putting your hands on that aircraft and learning more. 10, make it a priority. Once you set your mind to it, Make that your number one. Make time for that. The benefits of lifelong learning. Lifelong learning was a wider, had a wider range of benefits and the best part is that anyone can be a lifelong learner. So keep sharp on your knowledge of your job, of your environment. You know, things are always changing. The, you know, from new aircraft to new medicines to new personnel in the area. You want to learn more about them. One minute you can be working on a Lima model, next minute you can be working on a Mike model helicopter. You could be using morphine one day and have something, something completely different the next day. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, it would be a start to, you know, get in know that new personnel. You know, let them know who you are. So here's some things that you know, are key things you need to do to make become this lifelong learner. Make the decision to become a lifelong learner is your number one. Uh, getting the work, get into works that support and engage your desires. Number two, time is key. Setting aside time to pursue your dreams, this will help you manage your daily tasks and your time. Three, motivation is key, another key one. Finding, the, finding people that have the same interests as you, this will build social inclusion, become more of an active member of your community, and will build up your personal development. You never stop learning. The world is full of information. You just have to take it in. Any questions? Where can I find more information on people with the same common interests? Uh, honestly, Facebook could be one. Just type in what uh, what you're looking for. You can find groups from there. Uh, probably go online, Google it, up, Google it, and see what pulls up. Because there could be areas in the groups in a local area that are working on it right now and need more people. When can I begin my journey into lifelong learning? Now, right now is your best opportunity. Uh, actually, anytime it can be better at it. Uh, anytime you want to learn is every, every day you learn something new. So from there, you know you can go today and go online and look up schools. It'll show you, hey, this is where I want to go. This is an interest of mine. This is what I'm going to do. Any more questions?
All right, that concludes my brief.